I'm a teenager and my generation is very much often connected with gadgets. Our generation is mostly seen as kids who use social media every day. I personally believe that social media are first made for a good purpose. One of its aim is that social media are a platform where everyone are free to say whatever they want and to state their opinion on everything. And by everything, I mean everything. On the government, political issues, or maybe just a simple thing like your opinion on a restaurant. Those stuffs I just mentioned are part of having freedom of speech. To elaborate more, freedom of speech based on Wikipedia is a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or a community to share their opinions and ideas without any fear of censorship or legal sanction. But freedom of speech itself has started getting more controversial as many more people have access to social media, stating that words can hurt. So, that sparks up one intriguing question when people have started disagreeing more on freedom of speech, especially in a democratic society. Why should we have freedom of speech? Hi, my name is Denisha Wahyudika Putri. I'm a 12th grade student in SMA Negeri Satu Tabanan, and today I will talk about the importance of freedom of speech in a democratic society. Thank you so much, Asa Ui, and the most honorable judges for providing me with the opportunity to speak about this today. Let's cut the chase and see what the limits of free speech are, assuming that there are some. There aren't. That's a lie, but I'm free to say that. <laughs> now, we shall begin with the reason we are allowed to have freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is a basic fundamental human right. It reinforces all other human rights, allowing society to develop and progress. The ability to express our opinion freely is a necessity to bring change in society. Free speech isn't only about your ability to speak, but it is also the ability to listen to others and allow other views to be heard. But having freedom of speech doesn't give you the pass to be a jerk. You cannot use the word freedom of speech as a shield to give up hate speech. Hateful statements legally and technically are opinion, but these hateful statements are most effectively defeated by smart ideas, backed up by factual reasons and ethics rather than by bans and censorship. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on, I'm going to continue by talking about why freedom of speech is a necessity in a democratic society. I'll start by explaining about democracy. Democracy may be a word familiar to most, but it is still a concept misunderstood and misused at a time. Democracy, which derives from the Greek word demos or people, can be defined basically as government, in which the supreme power is vested in the people, or in the memorable phrase of President Abraham Lincoln, of the people, by the people, and for the people. Democracy is voted, and democracy requires informed citizenry. Informed voters require that people are able to freely share factual information and opinion and have a genuine discussion about ideas. And freedom of speech is the fundamental requirement for that kind of discussion and sharing opinions and information. So freedom of speech is the basis for other freedoms that make a functional democracy, such as freedom of the media, or freedom of association and assemble. In short, freedom of speech is the basis for other rights and freedom that make a functional democracy. Freedom of speech is a core value in a democratic process. It ensures people are able to freely exchange, discuss, and debate ideas. This human right allows individuals or communities to find information that is important to them and shared with others without any fear of censorship. Through the media or through public debate, whether it's on or offline, freedom of speech supports the development of informed citizens and voters. Seeing how I stated that freedom of speech is crucial, especially in a democratic society, some of you might also wonder, what would happen if freedom of speech is banned? Ladies and gentlemen, as I have mentioned before, freedom of speech is the basis for other rights and freedom to make a functional democracy. So, without freedom of speech, without open exchange of ideas, 
our theory and understanding of the world would be unrecognizable and would be entirely false. Without freedom of speech, if your speech is considered disruptive, even though it is the truth, and if the ruling party disagrees with your opinion on what right and benefits people should have, you will go to jail. Without freedom of speech, we live in fear that an opinion of ours that was critical of the government would be reported and would be arrested and imprisoned. That is only a glimpse of what I could imagine would happen if freedom of speech is banned. Who knows what else would happen? Total chaos. Ladies and gentlemen, freedom of speech, as stated under Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, is important for us, for any of us, and for our next generations. But I know if something bad would ever happen to it, we all can fight to preserve this basic human right. Because as Benjamin Franklin once said, without freedom of thought, there will be no such thing as wisdom, and no such thing as liberty without freedom of speech. Thank you so much for staying with me. I'm Didi Shalwahinidika Putri, and I hope to see you again. Remember, stay at home and stay healthy. Have a great day.